It's now been a week and a half since two mothers from Kansas vanished in rural Oklahoma. Veronica Butler and Jillian Kelly disappeared Easter weekend while traveling to see Butler's children. Law enforcement says foul play is suspected, but with no signs of an active large scale search, it's not clear where this investigation stands. Let's bring in correspondent Laura Engel, who is on the ground in Oklahoma. So Laura, what are you hearing from family and friends? This is such a mystery. It is such a mystery, and we have been efforting that for the last several days. I actually was able to get the husband of Jillian Kelly on the phone this morning uh, at his church. He could not talk to us. He said that, you know, right now they're just waiting for investigators. That information is going to have to come from the OSBI in terms of our questions. Um, and he did ask for us to respect his privacy. We also had a text exchange with the mother of Veronica Butler, who said that she also is directing us to the OSBI. So we've at least made contact with family, mem family members with both of these women, um, but they just can't talk right at the moment. And the silence from investigators, we've got to say, has been deafening. But as we have seen in many other high profile criminal investigations, this is often the case. This, as the death Desperate search for 27 year old Veronica Butler and 39 year old Jillian Kelly continues. Now, the only sign of a physical search that we've seen in the remote area where the women's SUV was found with signs of foul play has been from a couple of local volunteers who have been live streaming their efforts on YouTube, but no official searches that we have seen. Butler and Kelly were on their way to an abandoned gas station in a very remote location, which was the halfway point between Butler's home in Kansas and her children's grandmother's home in Oklahoma. They were set to meet up for a child custodial pickup, but never made it to their destination, as we know. The residents of Hewitton, where the women departed from on Saturday, March 30th, are holding out hope. And people that we spoke to say they are devastated there have been no signs or no word on their friends. Many people who have been very hesitant to talk. One woman who did not want to go on camera told me she visited Veronica and had just seen her, saying that she, her friend was so excited to see her kids. Listen here. I saw her Friday. I was sitting out at Tootin' Totem. And she walked in, she was so happy. She had on like full makeup, you know. She said, I'm going to liberal. And I said, what are you gonna do? She goes, we're going on the boat with the kids. She says, and I'm not coming back to Hugoden until Tuesday. So we reached out once again to the OSBI today for comment. They could only offer this statement. This is what we got today. The OSBI, along with other agencies, are continuing our search and are hopeful to find both women alive. Anyone with additional information can contact the OSBI at tips at OSBI.ok.gov. So here we sit and we wait in Oklahoma for word. And those tips hopefully will bring something. They want somebody to come forward. We've been showing you that remote location where the women's vehicle was found. Sure, there's not a lot of traffic there, but somebody, a farmer maybe, may have seen something. And that is what they're hoping for. Somebody that drove by and saw some activity that day. Back to you. All right, Laura Engel, live for us there in Oklahoma. So many questions. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.